Okay, everyone. So the house um, starts off with a rainbow bag. And you're going to see that throughout the whole tour is there's a lot of rainbows and um, rainbows coming from everywhere. But this isn't for design and it's not for uh, colors. It's actually to put in you that it's okay for the LGBTQT um, crowd um, that it's okay to do that. And as you can see, there's a lesbian couple. And then you go on to the cups here. And the cups are alive. They're filled of the devil, of demons. They're warping everywhere. And you're going to see a devil bathing in some hot popcorn oil and just relaxing there with the devil horns. Uh, and then you're going to see here a calendar coming up with the rainbow flag, the lesbian couple behind it, the rainbow sandals again. And it just continues with the popsicles themselves. They can't even be normal popsicles. They have to be alive. They have to be full of the devil. You got a chandelier there filled with devilish emblems on there. Um, you have a cut pieced cow here um, that is doing something at the bottom there. Um, you got something that can look like a nun but they have it with six arms and a one eye. Um, so if you're Catholic, um, you'll see this at other locations of them making mockery of uh, Jesus' mother, Mary. Um, all this, the hamster running, the little illusion of it running and disappearing is demonistic. I mean, sometimes you can go to places that have illusions and it's fun, but you hear, see there it has a gender fluid it's pushing the agenda of being whatever you want to be, letting your kids be who they want to be and be into a him, a her, a, a them. They're pushing that agenda on our children. And then here they show a picture that could resemble someone like John the Baptist with tattoos and a thong on. Very unacceptable um, for children, especially here in Texas. This is a family um, place. They market this place as good for children. It is not. It is secretive and deceptive. This is not a place for children, and it shouldn't be a place for anybody who believes in Christ and who wants to live their life of Christ. You got an octopus and a toilet. They got very silly, corny little toys, but all these things have some type of symbolism that the, the owners and creators are actually just putting there, but they really believe something about it it's all demonistic and you're going to see at towards the end of this video all their locations have all these demonistic uh, satanic uh, symbols and all these arts they're not done by accident these are done intentional and same with this here serving a false god hands raised up um, and a pizza it's absolutely ridiculous. And then you're going to see here an animal with an eye coming out of his butt. Uh, very disgusting. Um, and it's just not a place for children to attend. And I'll let you guys continue watching um, till we get to the part where I'm talking about at the other locations. All you have to do for yourself is go to all their locations, go to their reviews, and go to the lowest reviews. And you're going to see hundreds of reviews of how this place is full of satan how they left feeling very down how they left feeling very sick and and full of a dark spirit from leaving this and as you can see the satan star there and you got other false gods and glass containers and you have a demon lady here and then you have a lady crying with devil horns, crying a rainbow. And you got mother, they're making mockery of Mother Mary. And you have other things, uh, as you can see here, that every location has this place is not, is not to be endorsed.